Hello, John Zimmerman from tabletclass.com. And what I want to do here is help you out by solving some basic equations. And uh, these are our first set of problems. There's other videos that we're going to go over. So this is our first set we're going to look at. And if you can solve these, then, then you'll be well on your way to solving more sophisticated problems. So let's take a look at our first problem here. This 2x equals 10. Okay, this is 2 times x equals 10. And the objective when you're solving an equation is to get x equals, and then whatever that number is going to be is the solution. Okay, so the way we do a problem like this, okay, because we have 2 times x, what we want to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. Okay, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. Or we could just write this way, 1x or simply x. Okay. Now if I divide the left-hand side of an equation by a number, that's okay. I just have to be fair and do the same thing on the right-hand side. So here I have 10 divided by 2, and that is 5. Okay, so I have 1x equals 5. More commonly, we just write it as x equals 5, and this is our solution. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at our next problem. Here I have y minus 3 equals 12. So to solve for that, i.e. get y by itself on the left-hand side of the equation, what I need to do here is add a 3. Okay, so if I add a 3 to the left-hand side and add negative 3 and positive 3, I get 0, or I'm just left with y by itself. Okay, so I have to add to both sides of the equation, and that's the key concept here. Whatever you do, in, key concept in solving an equation, whatever you do to one side of an, of an equation, you have to do the right uh, to the other, okay? So it's this whole idea of balance. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just add down, right? So I get y plus nothing is y, and negative 3 plus positive 3 is 0, and 12 plus 3 is 15. Okay, so there you go, y equals 15. All right, let's uh, take a look at, well, I'll leave this problem right here for last. Let's look at this uh, next one, z plus 6 equals negative 3. Okay, same concept here. If I want to get z by itself to solve the equation, this time I have to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. And by the way, notice how I'm working. This is really important. You want to show all your steps for a variety of reasons. But nevertheless, if I subtract 6 from the left-hand side, I got to do it from the right-hand side. And now I'm going to add down. Okay, and I'm going to get z, all right? This positive 6 plus negative 6 is 0. That goes away. And now let me ask you, what's negative 3 plus negative 6? That's negative 9. And the reason why I kind of ask you that is it's another area where students um, get in trouble with when they're solving equations. They don't know their positive, negative uh, rules or their uh, rules of integers. And you know they struggle with you know, adding positive, negative numbers on top of trying to get the concepts down for you know solving an equation. So you really want to make sure that you go back and take a look at uh, positive and negative number rules if you're struggling. Same thing with fractions. And speaking of fractions, let's take a look at our last problem. So I have one third x equals five. So when you're dealing with a fraction, what do you want what you want to do to get rid of it? Okay, a fraction coefficient, um, a fraction in front of the variable. Remember, the objective is to get 1x, or x by itself. So you just go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse. And all the inverse is, or the reciprocal, excuse me, is taking this number, okay, this 1 third in front of the x, and flipping it around. Okay, so when I flip it around, it's called the reciprocal. So now I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal and take a look at what happens. I got 3 over 1, or 3. Okay, so 3 times 1 third is what? Got to think about that. 3 times 1 third is 1, okay, or 1x. So that's what I want. Then I have 5 times 3 over 1, or 5 times 3, and that's 15. So you get x is equal to 15. Okay, so you have to master these basic equations before you move on to more sophisticated um, equations. But uh, listen, I want to leave you with some really important information, check out our site, tabletclass.com. We have a 30-day free trial for our system. Believe me, it's totally clear and understandable math. We are focused on explaining um, math concepts in a way that real-life students like yourself um, will understand. So it's not like, you know, from a textbook, it doesn't have that sense to it. I'm going to show you, or we're going to teach you 
the techniques and um, techniques that students will grasp. Okay, and so whether you're weak or strong, you can really benefit from it. And of course, we have a 30-day free trial. All right, keep working hard and check out some more videos. And if you don't mind, you can rate this video if you have some time. Good luck.